In Spain, the first professional theatrical companies began to appear gradually in the 1540s. At first, these companies performed in spaces that were not specifically designed to host theatrical performances, such as streets, squares, inns, private homes, rooms, courtyards, or gardens of palaces. The three comedies of the most eloquent poet Juan Timoneda in the year 1559. After having considered this, I decided to write comedies in prose in such a way that they were both brief and suitable for performance. Once these plays were written, they were so well accepted both by performers and the audience that they prevailed upon me to have them printed so that more people would enjoy such witty, sweet and joyous works. Juan Timoneda The 1580s, the first buildings specifically erected for theatrical performances began to appear. Known as corrales, patios or casas de comedias, they rapidly spread throughout the peninsula. The appearance of these permanent buildings gave a decisive boost to the professional companies and to the consolidation of public and commercial theatrical activity in Spain. On the other hand, the activity of the court of the Austrians favored the use and creation of a specific spaces for enjoyment, performances and celebrations and helped to strengthen the company's factors which had to meet a regular demand for shows. Similarly, the theatrical activity linked to the religious celebrations of Corpus Christi and the street performances of mystery plays contributed to the strengthening and development of the theatrical profession. In Spain, all this activity left its mark on many documents of diverse nature. The bulk of the documentation consists of public deeds of varied content. Most of them are contracts for fine actors and establishing companies. Let it be known by those who read this contract that I, Pedro de Valdez, theatrical director appointed by His Majesty, bestow and bequeath it on the aforementioned Jerónima de Burgos, my wife, for the purpose that she demands, and that I promise and oblige myself to fulfill this contract with my assets, past and future, and that by virtue of the above mentioned license. Pedro de Valdés. Jerónima de Burgos. Some public deeds refer to the purchase or sale of plays by Autores de Comedias, a name given in the 16th and 17th centuries to directors of theatrical companies. 
let it be known by those who read this contract that I, Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra, have agreed and arranged with you, Rodrigo de Osorio, theatrical director, to compose, starting today, six plays about the plots and with the titles that I shall consider fit, so that you can perform them, and that I will deliver them to you, written with the clarity that is needed. in Seville on September the 5th, 1592. Miguel de Cervantes, Rodrigo Osorio. Another important documentary source consists of both the account of books of the playhouses and the books of expenses for palace performances. Also of great interest are the Memorias de Apariencias of the Corpus Festivities, which include the preparations for the staging of mystery plays. Sometimes the inquisitorial processes against some actors also become a source of information about their life and profession. The documentary material directly related to the work of theatrical professionals with dramatic texts is also very interesting. In some manuscripts, we find a reference to the direction of the company the play was written for. The Open Secret by Pedro Calderón de la Barca for Antonio de Prado in the year 1642. There are some theatrical manuscripts containing casts of actors. Sometimes these manuscripts also include performing licenses. This is one among the exceptional comedies written by Lope de Vega. The story is ingenious, the verses are truly poetic, selected and sententious, with discreet warnings about the events of human life and completely worthy of the course theatre. It can be performed in Madrid on December 11, 1627. Pedro de Vargas Machuca. Other manuscripts preserve the marks of interventions, additions or deletions carried out on the text before its performance. Within this type of documentation, we must also include the actors' scripts, which were used by the actors and actresses of the time to study the parts. The Mockery of Love, written by Lope de Vega. The role of Jacinta, shepherdess, was copied on April the 17th, 1595. The theatrical research group The Cut has been working for years on the critical analysis of this type of documentary information, convinced of its relevance for a better understanding of this important cultural heritage that is the Spanish classical theatre. The projects presented on this website are the result of the work of the DCAT group, the DCAT database biographical dictionary of actors of the Spanish classical theatre, published in 2008, and the CATCOM database, a project and the development 
that will allow our researchers to consult a digital calendar of a Spanish theatrical plays performed between 1540 and 1700.